change your goddamn government. You need to turn that off. I'm, I'm really tired of this shit. <laughs> Uh, the 174th is an Air National Guard unit, uh, and our mission is MQ-9 uh, Reaper to bring uh, the main mission of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to the supported unit. Well, this is the MQ-9. Uh, you'll see a big bump on the front of the airplane. Uh, underneath this radome uh, would be a uh, satellite dish, a small satellite dish, and that's actually what's picking up the signal. And then obviously reverse routing up through that satellite dish to the satellite and back to the operators wherever they're operating from. We have the uh, ground control station here for the MQ-9. And uh, what you see obviously is a uh, two-person crew. All the systems that are feeding the information to the pilot that uh, he or she needs to uh, get the mission done. Now that we have the MQ-9 mission, obviously we're we're flying the mission every day, day in and day out, 24-7. And like you said, uh, you know, the operators uh, leave the mission at the end of the day and they go home. So it does, it has its challenges. They have to kind of compartmentalize that mission that they do at the end of the day. They're in a uh, war zone, actually. This is a war zone. Ground the drones! Stop the wars! Ground the drones! The use of drones by the United States undermines law, it undermines morality, it undermines U.S. credibility in the world. About five years now, I've been quite concerned about the uh, Reaper drone out at the nearby Hancock Air Base. It's a weaponized robot that uh, not only assassinates, um, but there's a lot of so-called collateral damage that goes with those destructions of civilians, of unarmed people, of non-combatants. You want to see killing stop? Go change your goddamn government. You are protesting me personally. Go change your government. You need to turn that off. I'm really tired of this shit. <laughs> Overall, we have a, uh, an outstanding relationship with the community. Uh, very uh, supportive of the military in general, very supportive of the 174th. There are those that, that uh, maybe not agree with the, uh, with the mission, but uh, we certainly uh, support the fact that they have their right to, to communicate their opinions and uh, honor those rights. Can we talk about Marianne Grady Flores? Uh, I'd prefer not to. They want to scare people. They want to quell dissent. They don't want us American citizens to know what's going on there. But the opposite effect has happened as a result of this local judge sentencing me to one year. I heard it through people at the Syracuse Peace Council and I was shocked. Um, I'm somebody that has flown in and out of Syracuse Airport. It's hard to imagine that I'm getting in a plane on one side of the airport and on the other end of the same campus, they're killing people. Uh, because you do feel like you're very much a part of that operation or whatever's going on. Uh, you're seeing it. You're seeing it probably maybe even a little bit better than some manned airplanes. You're hearing everything going on. Uh, every, everything from the folks on the ground talking on the radios to people back in the op center, so uh, you get uh, very involved in the operation, whatever that is going on. We went in October of 2012, and it was at that time that 17 of us blocked the three gates, the two wing gates and then the main gate. So that's when we went before the local judge, and as we were being arraigned and given the disorderly conduct charges and also the trespass, that's when we started getting this order of protection read to us, and it was, who? Earl A. Evans. <laughs> Obviously, this is a law that is for domestic violence, sexual abuse order, and it's, it says that language right in the order. I'm not allowed to sexually abuse or molest the guy. But the last line says, I can't go near his place of employment. We went back to the base. I had not intended 
to violate my order of protection because I was taking photos of them from the roadway. It turns out that the base property goes out to the double yellow line of the middle of the road, and so I was arrested. This order of protection represents a perversion of not only mine, but all of our constitutional rights, every one of us that goes to the base. It is the sentence and judgment of this court that you be sentenced to a period of one year at the Onondaga County Correctional Facility with credit. And I'm out on appeal right now. I'm not sure what the, what the rest of the process is, but I'm out for the moment. Um, and depending on the appeal, I may be going in to finish the sentence. All of this quibbling about the base boundary is just a huge distraction. The main issue here is the crime of the murder going on from within the base. We have a right to dissent and, and the military does not have a right to just shoo us away. So, and so we go back.